And it's a big day for politicians in New Orleans. The newly elected and re-elected leaders will be sworn in this morning and officially step into their new roles. The ceremonies will all take place this morning. Debbie Gino's Peyton Lucas Rotris is live from City Hall. Peyton, what is on the schedule first? Well, they're going to start with a mass first at 830 AM, and that's going to be at the St. Patrick's Church. And then the mayor, Mayor Latoya Cantrell, will be sworn in for a second term at 10 AM. Now, the mayor and the newly elected city council will be sworn in separately to reduce a risk of spreading COVID-19. The New Orleans City Council will then be sworn in at 11 AM inside their city council chambers. Now, if you remember back during the elections, many seats were up for grabs. Some some were reelected while others are new and it was a highly contested race for the city council this year and there were five newcomers for this term. Now, New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell will be sworn in on the steps of Gallier Hall and because of COVID, both of these events will be closed to the public and only a limited amount of attendees will be present. You can watch both events virtually through the link on the mayor and city council's Twitter pages. All right, let's take a look at the newly elected city council. You can see out of seven of the city council members, five are new this time. We have JP Morrell, who is new and Leslie D. Harris, who is new on this screen. Then if you're looking at the next screen, Freddie, Ki Freddie King the third, Eugene Green and Oliver Thomas are new as well. Now, after the swearing in ceremony, the New Orleans City Council will meet at noon and on that agenda, it does say that they are going to officially select who is going to be the president and vice president of the council. We'll keep you updated on how today's meeting goes. I'm Peyton Lissis Rotris reporting live from City Hall, WGN news.